Developing now at 7, the search for a missing newborn from southwest Miami-Dade has moved to Pasco County. The child's father, also the subject of the Amber Alert, was found dead in a van. That Amber Alert prompted after three women, the child's mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother were found dead in their home. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live in southwest Miami-Dade with details for us. Amber. That's right. Good evening to you both. Yes, in Ernesto Caballero's home is still blocked off here right down the street. This is Southwest 187th Avenue. That grizzly discovery yesterday, three of his family members, all women, found dead inside his home. Now, today we're learning he was found dead in Pasco County. Police say he took his own life. No, figurate. Miguel Gonzalez says he knew all three victims who were shot and killed inside this southwest Miami-Dade home and says they were the mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother of one-week-old Andrew Caballero. A senior law enforcement source confirms this is true. Police had been looking for the child and his 49-year-old father, Ernest Caballero. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement had posted this child abduction alert on electronic message boards on Florida highways. Thousands of people have seen it. Caballero and his son were in a white Ford passenger van like this one with a Florida tag at KUSK 23. Cops so far are not calling him a suspect in the murders or a person of interest, but they had expressed concerns for well-being of him and his son. We're asking the assistance of the community to locate him and his newborn infant child. They were last seen at the home at Southwest 187th Avenue and 219th Street in the Redland community. Police say they learned about this triple homicide from a relative. Unable to contact them by phone, responded here to the residence, and he discovered three adult females deceased. When he showed up, he called police. Records show Caballero started Nesty School Services in 2018. Chopper 4 shows five yellow school buses in his backyard. Records show Caballero has been arrested several times before on charges including petty and grand theft, operating a chop shop, and aggravated assault. And of course, officials say their goal is to find that baby and make sure he is safe. They do tell us they spoke to a witness who claims to have seen a blonde woman inside the van. Now they're telling all media outlets they're praying to God that child is safe. In Southwest Miami-Dade, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News at 7.